A Senate committee is urging the ban of the Chinese messaging app WeChat on government devices, following the previous bans on popular social media apps TikTok and WeChat on national security grounds. Tencent, one of China's most influential tech companies, propelled to prominence through the creation of WeChat, embraced by an estimated 90% of Chinese citizens. However, the narrative behind its success is far from straightforward. Welcome to Money Doc TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started! Born in Xiaoyang, Guangdong, Ma Huateng, the man behind Tencent, embarked on a remarkable journey from a shy, unremarkable child to one of China's most powerful figures. His father worked as a port manager in Shenzhen, later becoming the foundation for Ma's global empire. At the age of 22, while still an intern, Ma sold his first app, marking the beginning of his swift ascent through the ranks. Graduating with a degree in computer science and engineering from Shenzhen University, Ma laid the groundwork for his tech career. His journey continued as he secured a role at China Motion Telecom Development, specializing in software development and internet calling services. In 1998, Ma Huateng, along with former classmates from Shenzhen University, founded Tencent, drawing inspiration from the name Tongxiang, meaning galloping fast information. Having learned trade secrets from his earlier experience with ICQ, Ma recognized the vast market opportunity for a similar service in China. Despite earning a meager salary of $360 today, Ma was driven by the vision of creating an expansive online empire. Within a year, Tencent released OICQ, offering services similar to ICQ. However, the strategic move paid off, and OICQ gained immense popularity, reaching over 1 million users within the first 12 months. It became a vital communication tool, particularly in the growing internet cafe culture before personal computers became widespread. Facing an arbitration suit from AOL, which had acquired ICQ, Tencent had to rename OICQ to QQ. To address funding needs, Tencent entered agreements with telecom providers, generating around 80% of its income from these partnerships. Despite these challenges, Ma foresaw the immense potential of Tencent as an internet business. Expanding its services, Tencent ventured into the portal and online gaming space, capturing nearly three quarters of the market. In 2003, Tencent went public on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, raising $200 million equivalent to $330 million today through its IPO. Ma's strategic investments in companies like Tesla, Snapchat, and JD.com diversified Tencent's portfolio, solidifying its position in China's business elite. In 2010, Tencent's most famous app, WeChat, was launched, marking a significant milestone in its quest for online dominance. WeChat, with its multifunctional capabilities, would later become a global phenomenon, demonstrating Ma's foresight and Tencent's ability to innovate and adapt in the ever-evolving tech landscape. However, in 2011, with the incorporation of a walkie-talkie feature, the platform quickly transformed into WeChat, attracting over 100 million users. Available on various platforms, including Android and iOS, WeChat's market cap soared to $100 billion by 2013, positioning Tencent as a leader in the rapidly expanding mobile internet business. WeChat's global ambitions were evident through advertisements featuring Lionel Messi, signaling Tencent's substantial financial resources and global targets. By 2015, Tencent's social networking site, QZone, ranked as the third largest social media network globally, trailing only Facebook and YouTube. WeChat's user-friendly interface, combining authentication, payment, and other features, created an ecosystem for various programs, businesses, and startups, contributing significantly to China's online economy. Tencent's foray into online banking with WeBank in 2015 further showcased its diversification. In 2017, Tencent surpassed Facebook, breaking into the top five biggest companies globally. 
WeChat's influence expanded beyond social media, becoming an ecosystem for entities like hospitals, visa services, and credit companies. Tencent ventured into the emerging market of online banking, reflecting its bold moves into various sectors. Since its inception, Tencent has demonstrated a willingness to make ambitious investments, particularly in the video game industry. By 2011, it owned over 92% of Riot Games, the creator of League of Legends. With strategic stakes in Epic Games and Activision Blizzard, Tencent solidified its position as the world's largest video game publisher, overseeing globally successful titles like Fortnite, PUBG, and World of Warcraft. Video games now contribute 32% to Tencent's profits, prompting the company to pursue international growth beyond Chinese borders. Despite facing challenges from domestic and foreign adversaries, Tencent remains a global target, navigating political complexities. WeChat, Tencent's flagship product, discourages foreign accounts due to the Chinese authorities' influence. Reports suggest Tencent collaborates closely with the Chinese government, compromising international security through extensive censorship, especially in response to Chinese policy positions. Despite these challenges, Tencent remains a powerful force, navigating the intersection of technology, politics, and international expansion. WeChat, Tencent's flagship product, has faced international scrutiny and bans, earning the moniker of China's Trojan horse. Tensions between Tencent and the U.S. government echo broader geopolitical struggles between the two nations. Tencent, along with other Chinese tech firms, faced bans from U.S. auditors. Notably, over 7,000 members of the Chinese Communist Party reportedly work at Tencent, constituting over one-fifth of the company's workforce, including leadership positions. While Tencent has evolved into an international tech powerhouse, tensions persist with the Chinese government. The company navigates a complex landscape marked by sweeping changes and clampdowns on technology, highlighting the intricate interplay between global politics and the tech industry. As of 2021, Tencent, a Chinese tech giant, remains a formidable force with a revenue of 560 billion RMB, equivalent to $77 billion, solidifying its position as the 20th most valuable company globally, despite a market cap dip to 400 billion. WeChat, initially a communication platform, has evolved into a multifaceted tool for business, travel arrangements, and banking. However, the Chinese government, while proud of Tencent's success, has expressed concerns. China implemented restrictions, barring users under 18 from playing video games on weekdays and limiting weekend gaming to three hours, reflecting broader worries about screen time and socialization deficits. Tencent's CEO, Pony Ma, formerly known as Ma Huateng, boasts a net worth exceeding $34.5 billion, epitomizing China's successful business leaders. Recognized on Time's list of the world's most influential people for three years in the past decade and a half, under his leadership, Tencent ventures into diverse domains such as cloud computing, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and autonomous vehicles, demonstrating its commitment to technological innovation and global leadership. We really hope you enjoyed today's video, how this shy kid invented the most important tech company in China. Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another great video. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, no dream is too big.